Hey guys, uh, today the new uh, Firefox Quantum came out of beta. It's now been released uh, to the general public um, as a stable platform. And so what I want to do is see if the claims that it has that it uh, uses 30% less memory than Chrome is true and how it handles memory management, um, you know, when you're actually using it, uh, you know, to, to browse uh, different websites, YouTube, things like that. Um, I actually want to see um, how it handles uh, things like um, having multiple tabs open, managing that memory when you close those tabs, things like that. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Um, should just be a quick, a fairly quick video anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump over to the desktop and uh, take a look and see what we've got going on here. So <clears throat> here I've got uh, basically nothing open. I've got OBS down here and I've got Task Manager um, here as well. Uh, just so that you can see that um, nothing uh, regarding uh, Chrome or uh, Mozilla Firefox is open. Um, there's nothing going on uh, in, any, in any of the, the processes there. Uh, drag that out. And then, of course, if we come down here, you know, a lot of times uh, Chrome will uh, run in the background. I've turned that off. Um, so Chrome shouldn't be taking up any memory at all right now. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and open uh, Firefox Quantum and the newest version of Chrome. And just opening them up, if we take a look, um, Firefox um, straight out of the gate is using considerably more memory uh, with, uh, of course, neither of these have any add-ons or plugins or anything uh, running on them. So, uh, you know, Firefox is using 180-ish megs of memory and Chrome is using 100. Um, so uh, by default, straight out of the gate, Firefox not doing so well here. So let's go ahead and move that out of the way. Um, to, let's go to youtube.com and uh, youtube.com. So I'll do enter, enter. So those, those are both loaded now. Um, and uh, still, uh, <laughs> still nothing uh, impressive going on here with with Firefox uh, Quantum, not seeing um, any perks to using it from a memory management perspective. Um, so let's go ahead and minimize that. Um, so we've got Mean Tweets, Kimmy, Jimmy Kimmel edition. So we'll go ahead and open both of those. The original so <clears throat> now we're, we're running our ads. Uh, we'll go ahead, and go, ahead, go ahead and skip both of those. Um, uh, you know, straight away here, I can see that um, Chrome looks cleaner. It looks more. It looks sharper. Uh, the 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 Firefox over here actually looks a little fuzzy. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure our settings. Okay, so that's 480 by default for some reason. So let's change that to 720 and see if that helps. Uh, and this one is also a 480. So that should. Oops, I did that. Click the wrong thing there. Okay, so now we've got two tabs open, one with Chrome, or sorry, one with uh, YouTube, one with, uh, with Google Search. Uh, again, using 50% more memory in Firefox than I am uh, in Chrome, so nothing great going on yet. Um, so let's open up uh, my channel there and see, see what we get. Uh, they both are, are pretty, pretty spot on again. Um, Chrome looks cleaner, it looks less blurry, it looks sharper, um, and that's kind of surprising, really. Um, but it just shows that uh, for for this anyway, um, I, I would definitely lean Chrome over Firefox uh, for the sharpness of video. And, and again, even for a memory management, we're still using considerably more memory in Firefox. So let's, so we've got five, about 570 and about 395. So let's close the video, uh, the Jimmy Fallon video there, and see what happens here. Uh, basically nothing. Uh, Firefox is now using 200% uh, more memory than Chrome. So 
So after having looked at these over the course of the last five or six minutes um, and comparing uh, memory usage, uh, video quality, things like that, um, I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised that with all of uh, Firefox's big claims uh, that I'm actually seeing better results in Chrome. So I don't know if Chrome came back swinging with a new update where maybe they have they've uh, been more efficient with their memory management, things like that. Um, but again, I got to lean Chrome on this one. So in the comment section down below, let me know, do you prefer Chrome or Firefox? Um, which one is kind of your daily browser? And tell me why also. Uh, you know, I, I spent a lot of time um, on YouTube and Gmail and things like that. So uh, it's always been, at least for the last several years, it's always been more, uh, more advantageous for me, I guess, to use Chrome. Um, when I started getting to be kind of a, a browser snob or whatever, uh, I was very big into Firefox. And then I got into, like I said, the, the YouTube, uh, the, the Gmail, things like that. And, and just kind of, I, I crossed over. And I've been using Chrome almost exclusively uh, for the last several years. Um, but I'd love to know, like I said, what, what your uh, preferred browser is. Maybe it's not Chrome or Firefox. Maybe it's, it's Opera or Safari or Internet Explorer or Edge. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below uh, which is your favorite and why. Um, also, if you, if you like these kinds of videos, in addition to the... The, uh, the the product reviews that I've been doing for the last few years, uh, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I've got lots of this kind of stuff coming out, and it would be really cool if you would subscribe so you could be notified when those videos do come out. Um, and in the meantime, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, give the video a thumbs up. It would really help me and the channel out quite a bit, and um, that would be great. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Thanks for your time. I appreciate your support. I look forward to hearing from me in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next one.